So this is my cubicle. As you can see, I have a lot of artwork up on it. It's enjoyable working here at the archives because as the archivist, I not only get to handle these collections every day, but I'm charged with taking care of them. For my job here, it's sort of a three-part. The first one is to make sure that the collections are physically taken care of, making sure that they're in appropriate archival housing, making sure that they are unfolded, separated, that nasty paper clips and rubber bands are removed, um, and then putting them into a system of folders or whatever housing is appropriate so that they're easily found. The second part of my job is to then sort of establish an intellectual control over them. And what I mean by that is, once they're in boxes and folders, to know what is in which box and folder. That can take several shapes. One is known as a finding aid, where each collection that has a binding aid is broken down to a box and folder level. For each folder, we know exactly what's in it, and so does the researcher. They can look at the finding aids online and see exactly which box and which folders they need for their research. Another way that we do that, establishing intellectual control, is to create collection level and item level records, which are also available online. These work more for our photographic collections, when we can actually attach a digital image to the records, and you as the user can flip through a digital photo album. The third part of my job is taking care of the collections in an outreach sense. As the archivist, it's my job to advocate for them, both in the museum structure, but also to make sure that you, the public, and the possible researchers that may want to use us, know what we have and how we can use it. Now, getting the collections online is definitely a huge part of that, but our next steps is to make sure that you know where to find that online. We're doing several different adventurous moves, uh, including this YouTube video. We're also working with Wikipedia to make sure that our collections information is involved in there, as well as using the Cirrus blog, which you can find at si-cirrus.blogspot. -S now, if you're interested in coming here to research the archives, we are free and open to the public. So you can do that anytime by calling us at 202-633-0533 or sending us an email at avrreference at si.edu. We look forward to seeing you.